one way the church needs artists is they need them to use and serve their gifts mm -hmm. for the good of the church and for uh, the good of, of the gospel. So um, the Lord has created people with certain gifts to exercise those gifts um, within that body so that what they're doing is helping others in the church, caring for others in the church, uh, and leading them through their gifts to, to worship ultimately. So, so that's, that's, that's one way I think that the church needs artists. Mm -hmm. Another way is I, I, think, I, I think artists and, and creatives at, at large sort of help give an, a, a, a different perspective. It, in a sense, helps maybe knock down some walls that don't necessarily need to be in the church uh, and it allows sort of beauty to break in to areas that uh, that otherwise have been sort of cut off from mm -hmm. it historically. So what it does is it opens up conversations. Um, it diversifies the body, uh, allows different types of ideas and thoughts to come in under the authority of the gospel in order to help shape one another. Mm -hmm. So that what happens is the creative is strengthening those who wouldn't classify themselves as creatives or classify themselves as artists. Uh, and simultaneously, those who are on the other side of the aisle, if you will, are, are talking back to them, strengthening them, challenging them, helping them with their conception of what it means to be uh, a Christian and an artist under the Lordship of Christ. Mm. Yeah. I think something that comes to mind is artists, just a, a role that they play in any culture, any society, any community is asking questions mm. that humans ask like they they're attuned to i think the existential yeah, questions yeah. their artists tend to have a pulse i think on things that are in the air in society mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i think it's helpful for churches to be aware of those mm -hmm. pastors to be aware of those and sometimes artists can be that bridge mm -hmm. um, to the wider world and just the human longings right Lo art is so much about giving voice to human longing that yeah. that everyone feels and i think uh, churches and pastors really should not be detached from that experience. Yeah. And another thing is just beauty, like, uh, you know, artists and the value of beauty that they bring. Churches just need that. Mm -hmm. Like in our day and age, I think um, the gospel, if it's not delivered beautifully, mm -hmm. is going to fall on deaf ears. Like mm -hmm. um, we can't just deliver it didactically mm -hmm. um, through stale, tired, old words. Mm -hmm. um, there's power, you know, in the gospel, however it's transmitted, I think. And, and God, of course, can use anything to, um, yeah. to save someone. But in Western culture right now, I think we need, we need artists to help us beautify yeah. Yeah. the message and theology. Sort of reignite that yeah. imagination yeah. That, that brings different perspectives and understanding yeah. of the gospel as it extends to all areas of life. Yeah. 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 Okay, so why do artists need the church then? Yeah, well, first and foremost, they need the church because that's where the gospel is declared. Um, mm -hmm. And so yeah. artists need the gospel, like we all need the gospel. So the reality is that the, the, the gospel is being announced, and so they need to be in church to be reminded of what Christ has done for them and what Christ has done for all of them, what Christ has done for their identity, uh, removing it, as you were saying earlier, removing it from that uh, I am a creative, but mm -hmm. ultimately put, putting in, in into Christ himself, that, that I am in union with Christ. Yeah. Um, so so that's, that's, pro that's the biggest reason. That's the biggest reason. Mm -hmm. um, a, a practical reason, sort of a, a side reason, is that when you get into the church, you come face to face with people who just aren't like you. Yeah. And though it's not, this is a byproduct of it, that will ultimately help your art. Uh, because what you're doing is you're, you, you are hearing different stories, you're hearing different narratives, you're hearing different ideas. Mm. Um, and that's going to push you to 
uh, sort of expand your palate, if you will. It's going to be something that says, I'm just not hearing the same things over and over again. I'm hearing different people talk about different ideas, yeah. and it's it's pushing into our own stories. So as we write, we have somebody else's voice in our head. Mm -hmm. Or as we're doing film, we know how to capture this person's perspective mm -hmm. because they're in our church. They're talking this into our ear. Mm -hmm. And when we're singing, we're, we're understanding who is in the audience, mm -hmm. what they need to hear, things that are bigger than us, mm -hmm. and how that lands in people's laps in different ways and in different, uh, yeah, in, 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 in different uh, emphases. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's so good. I think artists have a tendency to live in bubbles, yeah. and like, that doesn't produce good art, mm -hmm. I think. I think bad art comes from bubbles, and yeah. good art comes from artists who are mingling with all sorts of mm -hmm people and there's a reason why cities historically have mm -hmm. been the sources of the great art because in cities and urban areas there's so much intermingling of mm -hmm. cultures and ideas and it's just this um, fruitful environment for art and so the church can function in a similar way as a microcosm yeah. for an artist to be around people mm -hmm. who aren't like them mm -hmm. to kind of get inspiration from the messy intermingling mm -hmm. of the soccer mom and the 70 year old <laughs> retired veteran you know and yeah. all of everything in between um, the spectrum of human existence is in a good, healthy, diverse church, and that can be a, a great inspiration for artists. The other big thing I would say is um, limitation and boundary that mm -hmm. a church provides, accountability. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you guys have talked mm -hmm. about um, how, like, you know, we artists talk about artistic freedom being mm -hmm. so important, mm -hmm. but actually, kind of a free for all mm -hmm. is not freeing. Mm -hmm. It's that's kind of stifling. Mm -hmm. So. I think you've, artists thrive most when there's limitations, mm -hmm. and um, not to f kind of couch the church as one giant limitation, but mm -hmm. in a sense it is in a good way. Mm -hmm. It kind of closes off other things and says, this is the truth. Mm -hmm. For all the questions you ask, for everything you might explore as an artist, you know that this much is true. Yeah. The Bible gives us this. So it, it kind of focuses artists and gives them guardrails and boundaries mm -hmm. that actually counterintuitively are more freeing and, and yeah. inspire artists to expand their horizons. Yeah. yeah, and it demands people to be open. Like when you go into the church, you need to be open to coming across things that are going to cut across your bowel, that are going to challenge you. Yeah. Uh, you need to have that openness and you need to have that openness to being what obedience can actually produce in you, mm -hmm. that this truth really matters. and that it matters to your art and it'll actually help inflame it, help it be, uh, help, help it be bigger than um, just what the world is telling you your art can be. So, That's good.